All right, so for number 11, we do not uh, have listed all the things that you need to know here um, because, you know, ideally we want you to be able to graph a uh, quadratic without being uh, fed those, those pieces that we need to know. So if I'm in standard form, this one's in standard form, um, I know that this number right here is my y-intercept. So I know that my y-intercept is going to be the point zero seven. So that's one thing that I know I'm going to go ahead and put that on the graph. And the point that I really need to know, the y-intercept is, okay, it's just a point on the graph, but I really need to know the vertex. Well, this is in standard form, so I can either complete the square to put it in vertex form, uh, but with a 3 there, trying to pull a 3 out of that 10, it's not going to end up being very pretty. So I'm going to um, use the negative b over 2a to figure out where the vertex is, and also the axis of symmetry. So remember that a is the number 3, b is negative 10, and c is 7. So if I do negative b over 2a, I have negative negative 10 over 2 times 3. So I have 10 over 6, which reduces down to 5 over 3. So the axis of symmetry is at x equals 5 thirds. Well, if I'm going to put that on the graph, I'm just going to have to estimate it a little bit. So 5 thirds, so 3 thirds is the same thing as 1. 6 thirds would be the same thing as 2, so 5 thirds is going to be about right here. And the best I can do is just kind of estimate it. It's going to be pretty close to, to the number 2, closer to 2 than to 1. So that's my axis of symmetry. And I also know that on this axis of symmetry is where my vertex is. So I know the x coordinate of my vertex is going to be 5 thirds. But I don't know if it's way up here, or maybe it's way down here, or maybe it's right up here. I don't know. But if I do know x, I just need to plug this x in to the equation to figure out what y is. So I'm going to plug in 5 thirds. Fractions are not always our favorite thing, but we have to deal with them. Remember, we need to do exponents first. I'm going to square this fraction first. So when I square the fraction, I get 25 over 9. Here, I'm just going to multiply straight across. I'm going to go ahead and put the 10 over 1, and I'm going to multiply straight across. So I get 50 over 3 plus 7. I'm going, to, I'm going to come over here so I have some room. This is really 3 over 1. So I'm going to multiply straight across. So I get 75 over 9 minus 50 over 3 plus 7. I'm going to go ahead and put this 7 over 1 as well. I need these to all have the same denominator if I'm going to combine them. So I am going to multiply... I need a different color here for you. I'm going to multiply this fraction by 3 over 3 and this fraction by 9 over 9. And so I'm going to end up with 75 over 9 minus 50 times 3 is 150 over 9. And then 7 times 9 is 63 over 9. And now I'm just going to, now that I have common denominators, I know that my answer is going to be something over 9. So 75 minus 150 is negative 75. And then plus 63 is going to be negative 12 over 9, which will reduce. I can now divide them, the numerator and the denominator, both by 3. And I get negative 4 over 3. So the y-coordinate of my vertex is going to be negative 4 over 3. So here is negative 3 over 3. So negative 4 over 3 is going to be about right there. That's the vertex. So now I can use this y-intercept. So this is the vertex. So I have the vertex, the axis of symmetry, the y-intercept, and I can use symmetry. So you went over one whole one and then two-thirds, because remember this was five-thirds. So you went five-thirds. There's a space of five-thirds from there to there. So I need to go another five-thirds to get my other point over here. So if this was five-thirds, I need to go another five-thirds. So there's one-third between the axis of symmetry and this line at two. And then there's another three-thirds for this block. And then I need to go another one-third. So my other point is going to be right about there. And that other point is going to have um, a coordinate of, so this is going to be one, two, three. And then it's just going to have that one-third. Or you can think, well, it was five-thirds here. This space was five-thirds. And this space was five-thirds. So together, for, going from zero, that's a total of 10 thirds. So your x coordinate is 10 thirds, and you're still up at the same 7 
the y coordinate here is still 7. And then you can just draw your parabola right there.